Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold Random Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on the final three Johto Gym Leaders, um, not including Claire because we're saving her for later. In this episode, we're, we're taking the last two, not the last three. But uh, in this episode, we're going to do three Gym Leaders, hopefully. Uh, as we start the kind of Gym Leaders, I'm going to go in order of... Uh, Kanto order, like, in, like, first gen, so, like, Brock, Misty, Lachance, Surge, etc., 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 as opposed to the order we did them in this game, because, I don't know, that's how I feel like doing things. So, uh, the first up is Brock, it is Saturday night. If I ever forget to mention it, look at the top screen of the, the Poke Gear, because I'll tell you the time that, um, you can use, you can actually call the gym leaders to fight them. So, uh, I'm not gonna get confused, Brock, who do you think I am? So, uh, we have a team with us today. Um, of Tamal Pasta King and so on and so forth. Um, if you guys are wondering, hey, are you is Brock gonna be any easier than uh, or any harder than he was when we fought him in a uh, earlier? The answer is no, because he still has. Out of all the gym leaders, they tend to have something that counters their weakness. Like they tend to have a few options that can counter their weaknesses. Brock does not. Brock just has a bunch of things that are super effective, like, extremely weak to grass. And honestly, I can probably clean sweep this entire team. Um, just with Tamal. Because Tamal has Seat Bomb, and will just four times super effective kill everything. Like, this is literally going to be click six Seat Bombs win game. Because he just doesn't have... His Pokemon are all really slow. Most of the, Everything except for one thing is super is four times weak to grass. I don't think he has anything that can... Maybe this thing has, like, Ice Fang or something like that. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Dead. Because Relicanth is a Water Rock type. Uh, and one of his two new Pokemon, he has one other new Pokemon, um, and we might see it a little bit. This one's the only one that's not four times weak to grass, but it's still two times weak to grass, so it still dies really fast. So, like, why didn't that, why doesn't he have, like, I don't know, it's a bad example, but like, Makagro, or however the heck you pronounce it, the, the, the rock fire snail person. Like, that's rock type, and that lets you do fairly good, I mean, at least you can take a grass hit then. Or, like, what else can take a grass hit fairly well? Um, Anorith is, or uh, not Anorith, uh, Cradley, I think, is what, I, is what I'm looking for here. Um, that's a grass rock type. It can at least take a grass hit. Like, you could have easily balanced his team to be a little less grass weak, which is surprising because most of the other gyms do balance out the team fairly well, either with coverage moves or with typings like that that can actually do it. So... I don't know, it's kind of surprising that his team's just this weak to grass. It's it's kind of a little shocking, I suppose. So we're just going to go ahead and, you know, clean him out with all these seed bombs. And that's what happens, I suppose. So we will take all of them out. And uh, the fact that we just outsped Kabutops pretty much confirms that this will literally be a clean sweep. Tamal isn't even going to take damage. It, it... What? What itches? What itches? Brock, is there something you need to tell us, mister? Brock, are, are you okay? Brock? I... I... Okay? That was... You are... You're just way too easy, Brock. You're just way too easy. Alright, time to go gear for Misty. Alright guys, it is a Wednesday morning and it is now time, well it's not actually a Wednesday morning, but you know I cheat! So this is not news to anybody that I have time travel possibilities. It's pretty exciting. But we're going to take on Misty next. So Misty's right here, there we go. And uh, I will shove my team as usual and we will go from... It is a Wednesday... Well, seriously? 10-11 is... F fine, time travel? There, we're one hour in the past. Is that good enough for you, Misty? Are, are you happy now? Oh, okay. Because that totally makes a giant... You have to seriously get up before 10 in the morning to fight some of these gym leaders if you actually, like, stick of real time. That's just stupid. Anyways, Misty's next. I have to show up the team. Uh, we have Jolteon, Breloom. I decided to have Hitmonchan just for Thunder Punches over something else. Um... Slim will actually be very useful for something. Genius is just a godsend against water right now, uh, now that Rock is dead. And the thing about Kanto, they're, they're, their Pokemon are tougher. Like, you saw uh, Brock had a level 61 Pokemon. We're going to get some Pokemon at a higher level than my Pokemon, but 
The counter thing, the, the thing that makes counter a little easier, is the fact that I have Blissey. Who, and most of the gym leaders, if you think about it, are specially based. So Blissey is going to be a godsend in the next um, it, for, for these next few uh, episodes. So that's the good thing, I guess. So we're going to take on Misty with a uh, lead off of Jolteon because I believe she's going to lead off of Starmie, if I remember correctly. And I can just take it out with Thunderbolt because that's what Jolteon does. It comes in and it just takes things out with Thunderbolts. That's that's really all. It's really all I ask of you, Jolteon. However, it's not going to be a clean sweep because, as we saw with Misty the first time around, she is going to have a Water Ground type, which is going to stop any chance Jolteon has of sweeping, and it's going to make me have to switch out. And unfortunately, uh, it will cut my sweep short. But. That's what happens, I guess. So Quagsire comes in here. Luckily, I have Tamal, who can take anything Quagsire has to offer and just fight back with a Seed Bomb and probably finish it off. I don't expect Earthquake to do that much. Even a crit Earthquake won't even come close to killing, I don't think, just because I do resist it. So it's not that big. Yeah, it's only 36 damage. That's, that's really nothing. So we're going to go with a Seed Bomb, take out the Quagsire relatively easily, and we'll be good to go. So, um take this thing out fairly well and what's going to be coming in next that's the big question um i'm trying to think what would become because the thing is i i, I do have to worry about oh a lapras okay so she has the ice on this obviously a uh, water ice i'm worried about the ice attack i don't know if a sea bomb can finish off in one hit so i'm going to just go into genius because we know genius can take water ice types really really well uh, I have both Grass Knot and Flash Cannon as options. Grass Knot is super effective, and I think Lapras is fairly heavy. So I feel fair, rel relatively good with going into Grass Knot, as long as I don't get frozen, which I don't. Um, I can just go for the Grass Knot and probably kill this, one and two, this person in two hits. That would be the ideal plan here. So what are you going to go for, Lapras? Wow, that didn't kill. Look at that smidgen there. Rain Dance is a threat. Rain Dance is not what I want to see here. Nor do I want to see a full restore, but that's okay. Um, okay, so now I do have to be worried about her water moves, because now they're going to hit anything really hard. I don't think she has anyone that has Swift Swim off the top of my head. I can't... Oh, I guess she does have one. I think she has one Pokemon with Swift Swim. So I do have to worry about that. But I think... I, I think um, genius can take on that Pokemon of relative ease so I'm not and it's one that's normally fast anyway so it's more the fact that it boosts the water moves that's worrisome it boosts genius's water moves too though so I do you do have to keep that in mind as well it does boost my own water moves as well but we're gonna go for a lantern next this is not the ideal situation because I'm expecting an electric move of some sort which is precisely why I brought in slim because slim can take Water moves decently from a Lantern, and I can also uh, fight back with... Oh, oh, look at that! I just dodged the Thunder Wave. That's perfect. And now I can fight back with either Mud Bombs or, given the rain, I'm going to go for a Surf, actually. Although she's going to go for a Surf and she's going to have speed, so the question is how much is her Surf going to do to me thanks to Rain Dance? The answer is not enough where I can't recover it off. And how much is my Surf going to do to her? The answer is barely anything at all, so I'm probably better off going for Mud Bombs. That being said, the rain just stopped, so I'm actually in a situation where Confuse Ray... Ugh, that's annoying. Can we not go with the Confusion shenanigans today? Can I just... I I'm gonna go for Mud Bombs at this point, but uh, I'm gonna hit myself with my Confusion first, which is, needless to say, is annoying. But as you can see, the Lantern goes for Parafusion. Uh, it's, it's annoying, yeah. But land, I, I, can, I can at least just recover off the damage, assuming I don't like hit myself a confusion ten times in a row. Can we just not hit ourselves a confusion? Good. So I can recover off all the damage. Uh, thanks to recover, Gastron is now a very solid tank, uh, one that I can definitely use to against a lot of Pokemon. It's just a shame the water ground typing leaves it not that great against water, fellow water types. Um, and not as good as it is in fifth gen when Storm Drain actually uh, negates water moves entirely. So, oh, I got slapped up Confusion, go for the Mud Bomb. Can this actually take out from here? It's super effective, but I'm not expecting it to because it's fairly bulky. But that did a lot of damage, wow. Um, now the question is if she's going to go for a full restore. And the answer is no, she's going to go for the Confuse Ray. 
Hopefully I can break through the confusion, hit it with the mud bomb, and then just be done with this shenaniganry. So, Slim, can you not hear yourself in confusion, please? Thank you. Hits the mud bomb, and Lantern's done. So, uh, Gastron, pulling in some work finally, um, hasn't really, I mean, it's been pretty overshadowed by Slowbro and Empoleon, the defensive cores. Um, I have definitely have really good defensive water types, um, better than Gastrodon is, but, uh, it, it went pretty well. So, Melotic, I don't really have anything to hit it with, so I don't want to do that. Sure, it has the water move and the ice move, so that makes Genius a, an appealing possibility, because I can go for Grass Knots and do some pretty good damage with it, so... We'll go for Genius here, uh, it's gonna go for Hydro Pump, it's gonna deal a pretty good chunk of damage, I'm sure, but I do resist it. 45 is not that bad, I can go for Grass Knot all day, every day. It is faster, so I do have to keep that in mind, because crits can happen, and I don't want a crit... Uh, the crit is actually really worrisome from that range. That's the only problem. I don't want to get crit and die. That being said, if I go for another Grass Knot and successful, I will kill it. I'm going to take a chance because I do, I mean, she could even, oh, or she can go for Rest. That's actually perfect because I'm sure I can kill it in two Grass Knots from this range. So I can, as long as uh, bad things don't happen, which I can't imagine what would happen. Although... If it has rest, I would not hold it against her to have sleep talk. Do you have sleep talk? That's the question. Okay, that's worrisome. Not Hydro Pump? Oh, just another rest. See, that's the problem with sleep talk. It makes you pick a random move of your other three. Given that you already have rest, that's a one out of three chance that you're not going to hit anything at all. And it, Hydro Pump, obviously if she goes for Ice Beam, not going to hurt me at all either. So, that takes out my lag fairly easily. All that's left is a Float Soul. Now the thing is, I'm not at the best of health right now. So what can I go into to take on the Float Soul? Um, honestly, I'm debating whether or not I can switch in two cans and just take her out with that, or just I can go into Jolteon and take out the Float Soul with a Thunderbolt. The, the thing I'm worried about is if I can take two hits from a Float Soul. That's something I will. Let's just see. Let's see how well uh, two cans can take a hit from a Float Soul. It's not the strongest Pokemon. It is really fast, though, but I don't know if it's going to out... If I, I think I can... As long as I can take two Waterfalls with him on Chan, I don't have to worry about that so much. Can I take two? Not at all. Oh my god, I, can barely, I can't even take anything. Okay, never mind. We're not going to hit my Chan. Uh, can I take two with uh, Jolteon? That's the question. Given that, it, been, it wouldn't have been a 2 KO, because that was a crit. If you keep in mind, that was a crit. So it's not really that. Um, I definitely overestimate the bulk, and Jolteon can take another one. So I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt and probably finish it off anyway. But I was worried, just in case the Full Soul can outspeed, because it's, it's a fast person. But uh, if it was in Swift Swim, it would outspeed for sure. Because it has Swift Swim, it has the double speed, uh, just like Ludicolo used to have. But uh, in the end, that went perfectly fine, and we've taken out Misty. So, yay for us! That was a fairly straightforward match. Nothing to worry about. I don't care about you, Mother, in the slightest. So, I'm going to go get ready for Lieutenant Surge, and we'll do that in this episode as well. Alright guys, it's a Friday morning. Let's go ahead and take on the final gym leader of the day um, that we're going to do today. Which is going to be, of course, Lieutenant Surge. So, um, he's going to be, he, he's interesting in that, um, yeah, he does have a massive weakness to ground still, obviously. Um, but he does have one Pokemon that can take on ground types very well. I'm going to play very tricky around, which is why I have a very odd choice in my team. As you can see, relatively straightforward, except for some reason I'm bringing Peacall. The reason for this is pretty much the same reason I brought him to Morty, as a very key pivot switch. So, you'll see that in action. For now, the Choice Star of Scarf Nido King is going to go to town on Lieutenant Surge, as he did before. So, let's just get straight to the battle, guys. We're going to go ahead and take on Lieutenant Surge. And hopefully, we shall be victorious. Ideally. Don't laugh at me, Lieutenant Surge. C can you stop doing your, your, your laughy laugh pose? No one likes your laughy laugh pose. So, uh, level 60 Raichu. As you can see, those level 60 threats are... All sorts of places these days, so we gotta be careful of those. But Earth Power is going to hit really hard. Can we get a clean kill? You can't even... 
you know, this is why I'm a little disappointed with, uh, with Pasta King lately, is because he is so strong early game, but, um, now that we've gotten to the late game, he just, without the sheer force boost that he has in 5th gen, which makes him so big of a threat, but because he doesn't have that in 4th gen, I have Poison Point instead, um, it just, I, fa I always fall just a little bit short of, uh, netting these key KOs that I could really use. I mean, I could give him an extra rebel, but then he'd lose a choice scarf and probably be outsped by most things, so... It, there's, it's, he's just sort of... He either falls a little bit short in speed or a little bit short in offensive power, unfortunately, which is really unfortunate, because in 5th gen, he's one of my favorite Pokémon just because of how amazingly epic he is, but Electivire is the big threat I need to deal with, and that is why I'm bringing in Pico, because he has Earthquake and Cross Chop, he also has Ice Punch, so he could go for Ice Punch. I'm expecting him to go for Earthquake, though. So I'm going to go into this, knowing I, I completely am immune to Earthquake. And now, expecting the Lightning move, I can switch into Slim, who will be able to take the Lightning move with no problem whatsoever. I get a free switch into Slim without taking any damage, and from here, I'm pretty sure I can take any one hit that he has to offer and go for a Mud Bomb. Especially when he misses a Cross Chop. That's really useful. That could be a potentially... I mean, that, that's a hard-hitting move. It's not stab, but uh, it'll hit pretty hard. So, the Electivire is going to... Is this going to be... Uh, that I don't know if that's going to be a two-hit KO or not. That looks really close. Okay, Cross Chop's going to hurt. How much is it going to do, though? That's the big question. It's going to not... Oh, wow! I took that very well. I took that shockingly well. Okay, that's, that's fine, then. I can t easily take another one. He's apparently going to give up on Cross Chop and just go for Earthquake, seeing how disappointing that was, but this should do even less than Cross Chop, or actually should do about the same amount. So, wow, I actually did a little bit more, so... What is the base power on Cross Chop? I thought it was at least 100, so... I guess that's just damage variation. Did you live on the tiniest little smidgen ever? Wow. 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 I'm just going for a Surf. Okay, I was expecting him to go for the, uh... Full restore there, honestly, but uh, apparently he just doesn't feel like doing that. Uh, I take the cross chop fairly well, go for the surf, and that will take out the electivire fairly well. And that is why I brought Drift Blimp, because it gives us a very easy switch into to Gastrodon to just take him out with relative ease. I don't have to take a hit coming in here, although Gastrodon is far more tanky than I give him credit for. Alright, so now I'm in with uh, Gastrodon. I'm at low health, I don't want to stay in at low health, so I'm going to switch back out into... I could go either into Pasta King or Skinner. I, I think, um, honestly, my best bet would be... What do I want to go into? Um, I guess I could outspeed with uh, Pasta King, so that seems like the better option to just go into Pasta King and go for an Earth Power and... Double team! Well, that's not cool. But probably should have expected that. So, I'm only hit the Earth Power anyway, so it's a mute point. Um, I did go for, I, I was, I was, That's why I was like, I bet he probably has, like, double team or something. So, that's why I went to Pasta King, because I, I, did, I didn't want him to get too set up. I know I can outspeed him a Choice Scarf, and things turned out pretty much as I expected them to. So, Manetric is the next one. A little worried about um, the fact that it probably has... He, he does have um, Overheat, I believe, because Benetrix are pretty much known to have fire moves as well if you know the competitive metagame at all. But I think I can finish off with when Earth Power is that the case. Okay, so now he's able to... Uh, then again, it's only level 52, so that's probably the level difference. Raichu was level 60, so that's maybe why I love the Earth Powers, because it was stronger. I don't know. But at this point, uh, as you can imagine, Pasta King can just clean sweep with Earth Power um, on the rest of his team due to being faster, and uh, that pretty much is endgame for Lieutenant Surge. Electivire is the biggest threat by far, because it has so many good coverage moves, and it has a massive attack stat, so I don't know how well my Pokémon have taken him. I can learn a new move, but I don't want to! No! But Mega Horn's a really strong bug move, as we, um, I believe we've seen before, so... It's not a bad move to give him, it does counter his Psychic types, but uh, it's, this is especially based Nido King, not a physically based Nido King, so... is gonna go for a quick attack, not going to accomplish much of anything at all. At this point, I think Earth Power will be able to finish it off, and thus give us the game. Maybe it can't finish it off in one hit, can it finish off in one hit? 
It's going to fall just short. Disappointing, but uh, another Earth Power. Really, Lieutenant Surge? Really? Is that the game we're gonna play here? Because I can go for Earth Powers all well, I can't go for Earth Powers all day. I only have two more left after this one. But I'm pretty sure he'd, uh, he he isn't going to just sit here and full restore tank it. So, uh, plus, plus we got the special defense drop. Which means even though he's going to go for another full restore, this one is going to kill! Yeah! Nuts to you, full restore. I have a Nitto King. So, with that, um... Gastrodon putting in a surprise amount of work today, taking out the Lantern and the, uh, the, uh, Electrofire today, so it's ended up becoming a very, uh, very good switch in against some of the, it's a, being a rod of ground type, it has some pretty good resistances, and it's fairly tanky, so it's ended up, it's a very good, uh, counter-counter, if that makes any sense. It can counter a lot of the Pokemon that these gym leaders will, uh, try to switch in and do fairly well, so... For those of you who thought Gastrodon was down and out and not very useful on my team anymore, today was his day. Today was the day of Slim. And it was glorious. So this is Lucky70X signing out. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to take on probably Eric and Sabrina, and uh, I don't know if we'll do any more than that, but we shall see in the next one. So take care, guys. Bye-bye.